What's going on everybody? It's your boy A Dub and this video is exclusively for one of my subscribers that requested me to do a comparison about these wand lights that Generate has. This uh, subscriber's name I believe is My NY Cable. Shouts out to My NY Cable. You thought I wasn't going to do it, didn't you? <laughs> Think again. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, first off, I want to say something. This light right here is called the Genere Spectra SPLR. This is a great light. I love this light. Abs absolutely, actually, I love this light better than the um, SPC. This is the SPC right here. I love what the SPC can do, and I love that it's lightweight, but this Generate SPLR is solid. First of all, it's metal. Like, this arm right here is metal, but... It's discontinued, so there's no really need to, you know, tell you guys you should get it or whatever because it's discontinued. But if you can get your hands on to use one of these, I, I think it, you should definitely do it because it's a solid build. It feels like it's gonna last. Mine, I believe, is dead right now. I only got three bars, but as you can see, it has four buttons right here. I'll have to zoom in on that. It has four buttons right here. Power button. This button, I believe, is a switch from this light to the warmer light, yes. Outside, tungsten, yes. Day, daylight, tungsten. So, and the two arrows down below are to, and they're a little worn. These buttons are a lot worn because I bought this light used because like I said, it's discontinued. The one down is to lo bright, lower this light. As you can see, it's getting dimmer. And the one over here is to make it brighter which is cool, you know? Let's display it on my face so you can see it. Um, this is gonna dim it. You can see it's getting dimmer when I hold my finger on it. Is it getting dimmer? Wait a minute. It's getting dimmer as I hold it to my face. Getting dimmer, getting dimmer. Now I can look at it. And let's make it bright again. Bright, 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 bright. Yeah, so the down button. Dim, 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 dim. Dim sum. Dim sum, y'all. Bright, 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 bright. Yeah, so anyway, this light is discontinued. If you can get your hands on one of these, I would highly recommend if you can find one used. This is called the Generate SPLR. So discontinued, we're not gonna talk about this anymore. I'm not gonna leave you and give you any details. Actually, I am gonna give you some details. Um, Let's talk about it for a moment. First of all, the carrying case it comes in is, um, I believe, better than the Generate Spectra C, the SPC, um, because it's smaller, it's more compact, uh, it takes up less room when you're traveling, perfect, ideal for traveling. Both of the lights have the little standard um, screw mount on the bottom so you can screw in your, let me show you, back to my handy dandy little kit right here with my doodads and knickknacks uh -oh. okay so here's something we can talk about handy dandy kits with the doodads and knickknacks so yeah you know you can mount this to your stand right just like this one has it too the SPC has it mounted to your stand pretty cool feature right there but um, besides the cool bag and the si the fact that it's very portable, the carrying case that comes with is very portable. This is standalone. This, um, the difference between this and this, this one, you have to push a button and it flicks from daylight to tungsten, as you guys can see. Dimmer switch, pretty cool. Like it's, it's pretty much all digital. This one is digital too, obviously, but it's more like a manual type of digital and it has a some features. Uh, um, are kind of different. So first of all, this is the Generate Spectra SPC. Um, I believe they tried to make this so to make it this light more versatile, because the things that it comes with is pretty tremendous. Um, this comes with a small ring light that you can mount using a plate that um that uh comes with the light, and this handle right here actually detaches if you unscrew it like so this is where your power comes from i'm unscrewing the handle right now 
and you detach this handle and this is your power source the and you have a USB if you need to charge your cell phone while you're on set and you plug in the ring light right in this hole right here and you power it on by just um, flicking this switch you, you, so you actually it's a roll toggle like if you can hear it yeah standard click on and then the dimmer is you know the brighter you roll it you know, the the more you roll it down the brighter it gets the more you roll it up the you know the more you roll it yeah the more you roll it up the dimmer gets anyway so you get the idea so then um, you unplug that circle light and you plug this back in here and this also has daylight and tungsten but it's different you don't push the button you do the same thing you just twist this and this whole thing right here articulates so you got your daylight and then you got your tungsten kind of sort of you know what I mean so yeah I wouldn't say this is 100% true to what it's um the uh daylight and daylight uh you know what i'm saying but i'm not all technical into the light i just need to get a light daylight and toxin anyway but um yeah it's 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 a good light it's portable and it's versatile it's carrying case look at this carrying case it comes with this carrying case is kind of like a small briefcase it is lightweight though but i believe it's a bit much um i understand they have to have um, more room in it because it comes with more things it comes with that ring light it comes with a whole slew of adapters which is dope to mount that ring light on the face on the face of your lens there's a button right here on the side that you push and it releases it releases the uh there's two buttons there's one right here and there's one right here and it releases this uh this plate and right now this is a 58 millimeter that fits on here push the two buttons and it slides in the middle and it locks in place you can see its versatility you can see what it comes with you know and at this price point I'll put the price up on the screen because I don't know offhand I don't I don't remember how much I paid for this um, the S the Generate Spectra SP um, LR I don't remember what I paid for it, but this is how much I paid for the Generate Spectra SPC um, And you see what it comes with um, You can also mount this to a hot shoe mount becomes because it comes with a hot shoe swivel uh, which is cool and um, I think this is just a great value for the money because you get the ring light the ring light is dope Everybody likes ring lights this right here around my camera is actually a ring light everybody loves them they make your eyes look great they get that that ring effect in your eyes and here you can actually mount this to the lens of your camera so that if you're like doing a close-up shot you'll have that ring in your eyes if you're doing photography or something like that this is a great value for the money but what I don't like about it is it's not as it's not as um, durable I feel is this metal body right here so they're probably saving a lot of money on um, manufacturing costs, but um, it's not as solid. Now let's put these lights to the test. You know how I do. So this is the first test with the Generate Spectral ring light. I'm gonna open, try to open my eyes and leave them open so you guys can see how beautiful this is. This can look. All right, let me dim this down. So again, I'm using kind of a crappy lens, so it might get really dark. Um, I should have used a better lens, but this is the lowest setting right here and it's pitch dark because I don't have my good lens on here so it has a low f-stop, but this is the brightest setting right here. This is the brightest setting. I believe I'm at f, let me see what, what f-stop I'm at. I'm at ISO 800, which is horrible, and I'm at f 5.6 and um, yeah, this lens, this lens sucks, but um, it's okay. You're still getting the idea. This is not bad. This is how much light you would get if, let me adjust my focus. See, this is what I mean. This is not a bad light, guys. This is the uh, ring light from the Generate Spectra SPC. And um, this light is some distance away from me. And as you can see, it's still giving me a good light on me by itself, standalone with no other lights in the room. So this is a pretty solid, goodbye if you're thinking about getting this the link to this product is going to be in the description my amazon link please use the link if you're going to buy the light 
it would um, I would have really appreciate it. it would help my channel out um, a lot screwing it in guys screwing it in and as you can see by itself as a standalone light it's not bad these wand lights are pretty interesting like you can have like somebody else in the background holding the light doing some weird stuff like That'd be cool, like in the background, like these warm lights are cool. So you can even they don't get hot, so you can do something like yeah. So I told you he wasn't gonna come, but he showed up anyway. Or like I normally do, I normally have it on daylight as a backlight in the background facing me. That's my normal thing. I normally have it on my C stand over there, up, up high over top, and angled towards me as a backlight. Or you can light your background. These wands are dope. Okay, so here's daylight, and here's tungsten. Different effect. Hot. Oh, look at the gun show, though. Look at the gun show. Oh my gosh. Great. Can you guys see the. It's like, it's like, one, two, three. That's a cool scene, right? Yeah, see? It lights my face pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't ready for the gun show. You weren't thinking you were going to get the gun show today. That's right, you got the gun show, baby. Let's dim it down. Nice and low. Let's get off camera. Let's see if we can get off camera. Too far, too far, too far. Alright. So, off camera. You twist it, aim it. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet light. Alright. Now, why don't we just jump right into it and just switch up to the old school that they don't make anymore? Generate Spectra SPL, L, SPLR. Boom. Uh. As you guys can see, I think this is a much better light. It's brighter. I think they replaced it with a newer light. Um, I believe it's called, is it called the, um, I forgot what it's called. I'm, I'm gonna put the name right down here on the screen and I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see what the newest light that I think replaced this is. But as you guys can see, boom, I can switch it. To tungsten back to daylight tungsten all right and it's not that yellow it's like I think this light is truer than this light if that makes any sense to you it's more true it's, it's truer to uh to what daylight and tungsten looks like to be honest and you hold your finger down and just get dimmer the dim is even better the dim is like more like a spotlight yeah this is way better like you guys can see like you get what you pay for like okay that one you get a uh you get a ring light with it but this one you get a better overall light when you make it brighter you know and this is bright this is super bright i think this is even brighter than the other one want to do the gun show test let's do the gun show test boom and this is the one i normally have behind me this backlight oh I don't know, I like the gun show test better with the other light though. This gun show test. Yeah, it just, it's, I can't get the same effect with this one. I don't know, what is it? I don't know what it is. Can't get the gun show, it's not, it's not looking good in this thing. Daylight? Mm. Yep, yeah, nope, nah, nah, gun show's not looking good. Laser tag. Alright. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Daylight and daylight. Fully lit. Overexposed faced. Let's see if we can try. I'm looking at my phone right here, guys, monitoring this thing. So pardon me for not looking directly into the camera. Excuse me. So I'm going to try to look in the camera more. I'm going to try to like dial this down and dial this down to see if I can get a better, uh, 
better light on my face here. So this is this is pretty good. So you guys can see you can get a pretty good light if both of these are off camera and a nice amount of brightness. You can use wand LEDs as opposed to those generate ring lights like the generate I LED for um, generate LED 14s. I mean those other lights I reviewed generate spectro LED 14s. Yeah. Um, there are ones right here and one right there that Spectra LED 14s. But um, yeah, you can get great light out of these if you want to buy wands. The things I like about wands is they can fit different places. Like for example, like downstairs in my um, living room, I can like sit this as a backlight behind a couch. You can hide these in different places. Like you can, you know what I mean? You can hide them like really, really easy. Like you can throw them like underneath the table to get, get some weird type of ambient light you can put it up your shirt or so I don't know something weird I don't know but you can do a lot with these things so I really really like them that's why I like it so much I got it twice I'd like to thank you guys for watching this tutorial and why guy it was my pleasure helping you out I hope you can make a more informed decision on if you want to purchase these wand lights or not I personally love them. I personally like all these lights. Um, I think I'll do another review on little tiny, those, you know, those little tiny square lights. I got, I think I have two of those downstairs too. So I'll, I don't, I, I rarely ever use them. Some guys swear by them. Um, NYCMB, I think that's his name. Great YouTuber. Um, go check out NYC. Shout out to um, NYCMB. I think that's his uh, YouTube handle. Um, shoots great videos. I get a lot of um, you know inspiration from him along with other youtubers Casey nice that um, Man, I can go on and on and on and on and on but uh, yeah, anyhow I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today Thank you guys for joining me in the uh, Gun show and in the my review of these generate spectra SP lights this one which is discontinued and this one which they still sell it's very versatile light comes with this ring light right here that I showed you before um, and you can twist it and change the color temperature All right pretty cool lights pretty cool lights this one you twist this one you push a button how cool is that yeah I don't know what else to say about them guys these are great lights I love them I use them all the time. You guys see these this light over top of me. I use this one over top of me like all in all my videos. This is pretty much my backlight. So yeah guys, I hope you guys uh enjoyed that tutorial. And I think I'm gonna make this the cover of this um of this video. I'm gonna call this video Generate Spectra Swords of Light. Darth Vader, Star Wars, are we? No, or something like that. But this is gonna be my my cover. Pose for the cover. Yeah, or maybe this. brighter yeah that's a cool cover yeah there you go pulls to the cover yeah it's cool all right guys if you like this video like comment subscribe share with your friends and check out my other light videos and my light reviews and see what creative ideas you can come up with you with with your lights I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can see every time I upload a video. Because when I upload the videos, y'all don't be watching, man. You gotta start tuning in, man, on it regularly. Cause you see, I'm I'm being more consistent. I'm trying to do this for you guys and for me too. But um, uh, yeah, I really enjoy doing it. So thanks a lot. Oh, special shout out to my son. Movie premiere was awesome. The Brotherhood in DC. Check out the footage that I'm going to upload of the premiere of my son's movie, The Brotherhood. Link so you guys can see the um, 
short teaser will be in the description. Shouts out to Alan Young A-Dub doing your thing. I'm very, 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 very proud of you. The movie was dope. You guys will see it soon um, on the different platforms. I'm not sure what platform he's going to release it first, but it's up to him. So it took him five years to shoot this movie between the writing. I'm just proud of him. Um, uh, yes. Proud of my boy. Anyway, yeah. Link will be in the description so you guys can check out that teaser. And um, I'll have more information for you guys when you guys can check out the full length film. It's going to be dope. Shouts out to you, Alan. I appreciate you. You inspire me. And um, yeah. Subscribe, guys. A-Dub. I'm out.